Today we'll be making a red ground beef enchilada casserole. To start off, we're going to take a pan and add in a pound of ground beef, break that up some. Then we're going to season our beef with oregano, chicken bouillon, black pepper, and garlic salt. Mix the seasonings in with our beef and allow to cook for five to six minutes. While that's cooking, we can start destemming and deseeding 12 New Mexico chilies and 12 guajillo. Add our chilies into a medium saucepan along with six chili arbol with the seeds left in. After five minutes, pour in chopped cilantro and onion into our ground beef. Mix to combine and then allow our ground beef to cook for another five to six minutes or until fully cooked through. Rinse our chilies well, then we're going to cover them with water and allow them to boil for 10 minutes or until they soften. After boiling our chilies, pour them into a blender along with a cup of the water from our chilies. And then we're also going to add in a piece of onion, three garlic cloves, and then season with some salt. After sprinkling in some salt, we can go ahead and blend that well, then set that aside. To our saucepan, we're going to heat up a tablespoon of oil and then go ahead and begin straining in our sauce. Just make sure to pour in one to two cups of water into our blender to get any remaining sauce and strain that in as well. Now just allow that to simmer for two to three minutes. Once we finish with our sauce, we can now begin assembling our casserole. Begin lightly frying some corn tortillas for a minute on both sides, then dip them into our sauce and lay them into a square casserole dish. Scoop on some of our ground beef and sprinkle on some Fiesta blend cheese. Now just drizzle on some more of our enchilada sauce and repeat the process for another two or three layers. Once we've finished with our final layer, top with cheese, and any remaining sauce, then we're going to bake our dish at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes or until our cheese melts. After baking, our red enchilada casserole is now done and ready to enjoy.